Hi everyone, my name is Reliza and today I'm going to be rating every single gay drama that I saw in 2021. I actually only started watching gay drama in 2021. I did watch other shows in 2021, but I'm only going to be doing gay dramas for now. And I will be giving you a synopsis of what the show is about so that you know. And without further ado, let us begin. Main guy Long Ai Cha Hyun Soo lives in an apartment and people start turning into monsters all around Korea. The residents in the apartment do the usual survival situation and some people are dumb. So this show has a really high production cost and it has interesting characters but it really super needs a season 2 for more context because it feels bit in. So I'm very happy that it got approved for one. There's an app called Love Alarm that rings every time someone who likes you is within 10 meters of you. Honestly, the plot overall is what made me interested in the drama, but I should have listened to my mom when she said that it was a pass. Main girl was really pretty when she was younger, but she had a glow down when she grew up. She met up with her childhood guy best friend who had an insane glow up while he was abroad. Now they work together and she's too embarrassed to tell him that it's her. This is such a funny drama because the main lead girl really carried it with her humor and it's a very good stretch reliever show. So, Hollywood fitness trainer and a lawyer who gained a lot of weight meet up and he helps her get back in shape basically. This show is a Tita favorite as in it's one of my mom's favorites and it's also one of my friend's mom's favorites but for me it's not really my type and I couldn't relate to a lot of it so I found it kind of slow paced. Girl gets into an accident when she's 17 and is in a coma for 13 years, so when she wakes up, she's 30 years old. Shin Hye Sun is one of my favorite gay drama actresses, but I think if she wasn't there, then the score for this would be lower. Girl has been this guy's secretary for a super long time, and when she threatens to resign, he makes all the effort to make her stay, which includes proposing. Okay, I love Park So Jun, um, example, but this drama was super overhyped, and there's not that much good stuff about it except for the cast. Kim Bok Joo is a weightlifter for her college's team and deals with her first crush and her first relationship. You are literally, literally living under a rock if you have never heard about this drama from somebody like your friend or your batchmates or something. And the scenes and the chemistry in this drama is so cute. It is a must watch and it is such a good beginner drama. Main guy, played by Park So Jung, has always wanted to be a professional boxer and main girl, played by Kim Ji Won, wants to be an announcer but their funds are giving them a hard time. So this is a cute friends the lovers trope story and the individual development is cool but the story overall was kinda eh. So Delmi is unsatisfied with the way her life is going so she starts a startup company also to prove something to her sister. I found some parts in the story kind of slow but it's a good feel good story and it's when you don't want something too serious. Based off the movie featuring Zac Efron, a teenager dad who is an adult is about to get divorced but then he is given a new opportunity when he's transported back into his 18-year-old body. This is a good story for life lessons and when you want to feel grateful for what you have. So it's a very humbling show. Main guy Park Sayori spends his whole life avenging his dad as he opens a pub to go against those who have wronged him. Okay, that was a kind of confusing synopsis, but in general this drama is a lot about business. So it feels kind of slow if you're not into that stuff, but it covers a lot of progressive topics which I appreciate. Set during Japanese occupation and based on a real story, stage writer Kim Woo Jin falls in love with the first Korean soprano, Yoon Shim Dong. This is a three episode long drama, but this, this story is tragic. Like, the fact that it's based off a real story makes it even sadder. Main girl Nam Hong Joo dreams how people will die and suddenly meets a prosecutor and a police officer who have the same ability. I love this drama. It is the only drama that I have rewatched, and it is because I love every single aspect of it. It is a must watch. I am literally begging you to watch it. It is so underrated. Please watch it. Guy who needs a roommate and a girl who needs a place to live unexpectedly become housemates and then it folds into a marriage of convenience story. I honestly don't remember that much about this story and it's probably because it wasn't that interesting to me. Set in Jackson Dynasty, main lead that doesn't really have a name takes the place of his dead best friend as a royal guard. Okay, that sounds like a very morbid synopsis but in general about the story, I don't really find it that interesting and I tend to avoid Justin Dynasty stories because it's usually about power trips and this drama was 20 episodes long which I feel, felt like was way too long. Our main lead and his dad are trauma cleaners who clean up the belongings of the deceased. Now my favorite thing about this drama was the career choice and the direction because it's a really short watch but it changes and it covers a lot of topics in a short amount of time so I highly suggest this drama. While paragliding, CEO Yoon Seri gets displaced in North Korea where she meets North Korean soldier Captain Ri jong Hok. If you don't know this drama, you have been genuinely living under a rock during the pandemic. This drama broke me 
healed me. I cried in like the last four episodes, literal typhoons. So please watch it if you haven't already. Set obviously in 1988. Five childhood best friends who live in the same neighborhood go through all the typical teen things together. Okay, this is a very sweet family drama and it is, I heard, the best out of the Reply series, although I haven't watched the others. Then this is a good drama, but it's really long, but family dramas are like that talaga. Playboy chef lands into a pool and magically gets transported into the body of the future queen of Joseon. So like I said, I tend to usually avoid Joseon Dynasty stories, but my mom hyped this one up so much and Honestly, I understand why because this drama is genuinely so funny. It is very funny. It's long, but it's funny. A drama about two men and a woman as they unfold what happened in their past life during Japanese occupation through a typewriter. I honestly thought that the plot of the story was cool, but some aspects just did not align smoothly and that really annoyed me. Professional sprinter and Korean English translator meet and we see their stories as their careers keep forcing them to meet. My favorite thing about this drama is the girl's career choice because I've never seen a drama where they cover about the job of a translator. But aside from that, this drama was not that good. Set during the martial law period in Korea, Hwang Hee-tae meets Kim Myung-hee who he thought was the girl he was set to marry. This was one of the best miniseries that I've watched and the direction was so good and I think that a lot of the topics is something that is very important to watch so I highly suggest this drama. Kids book author Ko Moon Young takes an interest in psychiatric hospital nurse Moon Gang Tae. This was a hit drama when it first released and I understand why the direction is very good and the characters are interesting but the direction of it carried it more than the plot. Stuntman risks his life in seek of finding the real cause behind his nephew's mysterious plane crash death. The action of this drama is so good and I would probably 100% recommend it except that it needs a season 2 but sadly we're not gonna get one. So, family friends since childhood, So Jun he starts a crush on the older sister of his friend. A lot about the story is about the family not being approving of their relationship, which I think that we've seen a lot of. But nonetheless, this drama is a very cozy watch. So, story of two model actors and a makeup artist striving to achieve their dreams, including love. Though the character building of the two main lead guys felt very unrealistic, I really liked the girl main actor. I liked a lot of her choices. This is what I thought made the drama a fun watch. A grim accident happens in a prestigious law school and justice is tested through the students and the professors there. I did feel like sometimes the plot moved kind of slowly, but each case relating to each other was very smooth, which is very satisfying to watch. Girl surgeon and the captain of his soldier barrack meet and coincidentally both get assigned to a foreign country and face the odds against them. This drama is iconic for a reason. There is even a Filipino remake because it is that good. There's a really good balance of romance and action, so if you're into both of those, then I really suggest this drama. Basically a story about three girl best friends who are in who are 30 years old trying to survive their 30s. This is a really good coming of age story. But the reason that I deducted some of the points from it is because sometimes it felt really slow and purely artistic. Like, it felt a little bit hard to relate to because it was so... artistic? Mafia Consulier Vincenzo Casano meets lawyer Hong Chaeyong who give a conglomerate boss a taste of his own medicine. This drama showed me how evil people can be while also being stupidly funny. Like, this drama is so funny for no reason. A water god who comes down to earth to retrieve something and somehow loses his powers and falls in love with a human girl. Okay, can I emphasize that I watched this drama for Nam Ji and although his visuals were so good, I would literally not suggest this to anyone. Do Bong Soon and every girl in her family possess the power of extreme strength and she becomes a bodyguard for CEO An Min Hyo. Honestly, this drama is very childish, but it's a fun watch. It's just that the antagonist genuinely scared me. But it's a good and fun watch. Man granted with the curse of immortality searches for his bride who is the only one who can end his life and that happens to be a very upbeat high school girl. Fantasy isn't really my thing in general but I think if you like it then you will super love this drama. Unsuspecting university student Lee Dam becomes a Gumiho's chance to become a human so he suggests that they live together to figure out how to make that happen. The main thing I don't like about this drama is the main guy. His character has barely any personality. Oji Su runs a very sketchy online business that he uses to make ends meet, but things get out of hand very soon. This drama is really intense and covers a lot of sensitive topics, but it's a very keep you on the edge of your seat kind of drama. CEO Cha Soo Hyun meets photographer and free spirit Kim Jin Hyuk in Cuba, who finds out that he's going to work for her company back in Korea. This is a really sweet drama, but the thing is the characters are very flat. 
A story about two workers, clumsy Han Yurong and mysterious Lee Suron at Incheon Airport. I also love this drama! I also think that it's really underrated and the main guy carries a lot of the plot for me. And also the career being at an airport makes it just that much more interesting. So I really, really, really suggest this drama. An angel is faced with the challenge of making an arrogant ex-prima ballerina fall in love. I know that I said I don't really like fantasy, but I like this drama. Also because of Shin Hyesan, but the chemistry and the acting of the two actors was just so believable. Girl ghost and human boy who can hear and see ghosts team up to fight bad ghosts and figure out the real reason for the main girl's death and why she's still in the human world. I think that the plot of this story was very predictable and nothing about this drama would make me suggest it to anyone. Basically, siblings since childhood, two main leads both become news announcers and face the struggles of responsible journalism. The main reason why I deducted points from this drama was because it was kind of predictable and it was 20 episodes long. Coming of age story about students in university. That's literally the synopsis. And like I said, I don't really like coming of age that much. There was not that much build up into the chemistry of the main couple. So it was kind of a pass for me. An actress who goes to MIA after a scandal decides to have a comeback in her next role as a lawyer, where she studies the life of one in a law firm where she meets a very interesting lawyer. This is a very cute and easy to watch drama. I can imagine it if you're watching an intense drama and you wanna break. A genius engineer meets a woman from the future and they work together to stop a nuclear attack from happening in South Korea. This drama has a lot of time and time travel and if it's done improperly, it can be kind of confusing. And this drama was confusing. Set around 2014-ish, this drama is a story about the job of An Jun Ho as he goes to his military service as required for every man in South Korea. My friend Jenna explained to me the significance of this story which I thought made it that much more interesting. Dentist Yoon Hae Jin moves to the seaside city of Gongjin, where she meets the jack of all trades town chief, Hong Panjang. Guys, this drama is a must watch. This drama is so good, I have zero complaints. And I think I cried at least like six times. This story is about a delivery man and woman who go against the rich folk who are trying to sabotage the small businesses in their alley. To sum it up, this drama was kind of boring and unremarkable, and the characters were kind of flat. A deadly virus is spreading throughout the city and childhood best friends, detective and soldier, try to keep the peace and safety for those in their apartment. This is honestly a typical people against the people kind of plot, but the direction and the people, like the actors, made it so good. And it was honestly surprisingly unpredictable, so. Seemingly normal taxi driver Kim Doki helps protect and get revenge for those who have been wronged and not helped by the police. Sometimes I felt like the plot was going kind of slow, but it has a similar formula to While You Were Sleeping, which is a case every few episodes. So it covers a lot of cases, and I think that it's a good watch. And those are all of the dramas that I watched and finished in 2021. So my most watched dramas are Crash Landing on You While You Were Sleeping in Hometown Cha Cha Cha. And my most not watched dramas are Love Alarm by the Habek and Bring It On Ghost. So that is it. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have any K drama suggestions for me, you can comment them. So thank you. Bye.